Hello and welcome, my name is Mr. QB. This episode I'll show you how I build my chicken pens step by step. Before we start, here is a look at what we will be building. To begin, find a small open plot of land. Start by making a row of 5 fence posts. At each end, build up a 5 block high row of oak wood. After that, make another 2 rows of 5 fences, like so. At the end of the two fences, build up another row of wood, this time six blocks high. Next, above the fences, make a row of upside down stairs, as shown on screen. I make sure to have the stairs a different colour to the fence. I'll be using spruce wood stairs. This is how it should look so far. The section with the gap will be the front of your chicken pen. It's here where we're going to place the two fence posts on each side, leaving a one block gap in the middle, finished with two upside down stairs over each side. Place one wooden plank down in the gap, and add two stair blocks on top and in front. In the middle, on the same level as your upside down stairs, fill in a square gap with wooden planks. I make sure to use oak wood planks for this. At the back and two sides, build up a wall of oak wood planks, three blocks high. Next, we're going to create windows for our chickens. If you head inside the chicken pen, along the bottom row, destroy every second block in each facing wall, like shown. Inside the gaps, place some fences to stop the chickens from escaping. At the front, place two fence posts at each side above the upside down stairs. If you wish, you can place some stairs above the windows at each side. I have the two stairs at the sides facing inwards. I use spruce wood stairs for this. Now for the roof. Behind the two blocks at the front of the pen, make a row of spruce wood planks, four blocks long. At the back end of the structure, at the very top half level, make a row of spruce wood slabs. Next, behind the last spruce wood plank of each row, lay down two rows of spruce wood slabs. On top of each oak wood row at the front, place a spruce wood plank. Then we're going to make two more rows of spruce wood slabs. I put the first row in between the planks, and the next row in front of the two planks going outwards, as shown. Behind the same two planks, place two rows of spruce slabs, like so. Then in between those slabs, fill in another row of spruce wood slabs. At this point, you can consider the chicken pen finished. If you'd like, there are a few things you can add. The first being a gate to stop the chickens from escaping, if that bothers you. Now, if you want to add a second level for your chickens, you have to firstly decide whether your pen is for practical use or cosmetic. First, I'm going to show the cosmetic option. We're going to use oak wood slabs to create the flooring for the second level. To get the slabs at the right height, I'll show you this. Go inside the pen and place a block at the top back wall. Then directly underneath it, place a slab. You can then destroy the previous block and there you have it. That's the height of your second level. I finish off that row of slabs at the back and begin making a ramp with oak slabs. Once the ramp is finished, I continue to complete the second level. When I get to the front, I use spruce wood slabs for a finishing touch, followed by a fence across them. So that's the cosmetic option. If you're after using the pen and desire a second level, follow these steps. Inside the pen, up the top end of the back wall, place a second row of spruce wood planks below the roof. Then, along the bottom level of those planks, make a row with oak slabs, then add your ramp. After you've finished that, complete the second level with oak slabs. 
When you get to the front, place a row of upside down spruce stairs, like so. Then up top here, just below the roof, add a row of spruce slabs. Then lastly, add some fences. There you have it, you're finished. Whether you've chosen the cosmetic or practical option, you can now enjoy your structure and replicate it as many times as you like. You can even use different blocks and colors to construct your next one if you so desire. Here are some examples. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, I try to make them as easy as possible to follow for your viewing pleasure. If you have any tutorial suggestions, leave a comment saying what you'd like to see being built and I'll try my best to give you a tutorial for it. Thanks very much for watching as always, and until next time, goodbye.